Hey everyone, welcome back to another Storefront UI tutorial. Um, today we have with us View Storefront core team member Jacob, uh, who will be answering a very frequently and hotly anticipated answer to a question, how to use Tailwind with Storefront UI. So in case you don't already know, Tailwind is a utility first CSS framework that aims to make CSS more accessible to everyone. So instead of writing endless uh, lines of CSS, you can write endless classes of HTML. Um, so to get how, to see how we're going to integrate, we're going to be showing you exactly how to use it with Vue applications and Nuxt applications from installations and some a few little extra bits of plugins that you might need to get everything working perfectly. Jacob, sure. take it away. Thanks for the warm wel welcome. So starting with Vue, uh, what we need to do to integrate Tailwind CSS and Storefront UI in Vue.js based projects is when we look at the documentation of Tailwind CSS, we will see the part here. So we are inter interested in the part where the post CSS 7 compatibility build section is. So we will do exactly that. We will install uh, the Tailwind CSS with version that is supporting post CSS 7, uh, post CSS 7 and auto prefixer. And for the sake of this tutorial, I have already done that. So what we will do next is we will generate the empty tailwind.config.js file and also post CSS config.js file, but they will be created empty. You don't have to do anything with that. Mm -hmm. Going further, what we have to do is we have to create index.css file where we will import these directives from Tailwind. So base, components, and utilities. And then we have to include this index.css file inside our main.js, similarly to how we achieved that with Storefront UI styles. Mm -hmm. And then when we look at the home.view component, you will see that we have a simple button that uh, we can already see in the, in the um, browser. And this is like a very simple Storefront UI button. And you can see that it is already having the Storefront UI styles. So what we do now is we will comment this SF button and uncomment this SF button that includes all these Tailwind CSS classes that are already, uh, that were already um, uh, described. Taken from the, sorry, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Taken from the Tailwind CSS uh, guide. So mm -hmm. when we reload the page, the sa save the file and reload the page, we will see that now the button click me looks a bit different. So this is the approach for the view based project. For Next, however, it uh, needs to be configured quite a differently, different way. In package JSON, you will see, and this is also a part of the Tailwind CSS documentation when we look at the Next.js, we will see that we have to install Next at Next.js Tailwind CSS. So this is like a, a Next module for Tailwind CSS. Latest mm -hmm. Tailwind CSS, post CSS, and auto prefixer in the latest versions. And then what we need to do is to include the Next.js Tailwind CSS module inside our Next.config and also generate an empty Tailwind config JS file. I have here a commented line uh, that we will discuss a bit later. So in index.view file, I have the same SF button that we had in the view based projects. So when we look at here, you will see that there is the same button that was uh, in the view JS based project. So what we do now is we will uncomment this and this, and we already see the error in the browser. And the error is caused by the fact that we are using the post CSS 8 that supports post CSS custom properties. And to make it work in our case, we have to in next config JS in build, similar to how we also added a rule for transpiler and storm in and included storefront UI. We also have to add this rule for post CSS to support post CSS custom properties. And going further, 
when we look at the page, the NAX server is all already reloading. Uh, we can see that we have this button with the classes that are, that are also copied from the uh, Tailwind CSS documentation. Mm -hmm. So now the page was reloaded, but we can see that the styling is still the same. And it is because uh, with Tailwind for Next, the specificity of these classes is smaller or, uh, yeah, the, lower. it's smaller, lower than uh, Storefront UI styles. So mm -hmm. what we can do to achieve that is to uncomment the line that I mentioned a while ago, so that now all the styles from Tailwind CSS will have a bigger specificity than mm -hmm. Storefront UI styles. So when we reload the page. And it's very interesting to note that I think it's people understand what they're doing here when they uncomment that line or add that line is you're adding important to all of your Tailwind classes. So if you are for somehow breaking the Tailwind dogma of not writing any CSS yourself, and you do add CSS, you have to make sure that you're not conflicting any CSS or trying to edit the classes of Tailwind because that's not going to come through and your Tailwind is going to override your CSS. So just make sure you differentiate your CSS. Yeah. So just to confirm what Aditya said, you see the SF Storefront UI styles and below that you'll see the styles from Tailwind CSS and all these properties or the values have the um, important rule so that they are applied with bigger specificity. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's it. This is how you include the Tailwind, in, integrate Tailwind CSS to Storefront UI with uh, Next and Vue.js based projects. Awesome. So this will hopefully be very helpful to everyone in the Storefront UI com community who's been looking forward to using Tailwind in their um, storefront UI projects to help them style faster and just write cleaner CSS. Um, also, just uh, as we mentioned, post CSS, uh, and you're going to have to use that uh, uh, compatibility versions in your view project. So there's actually a couple issues that you might run into. So we're going to be linking a very useful thread that's, I think, on the Tailwind website where they have a frequently asked question section where they have a thread specifically dedicated to some issues you might run into in the compatibility mode. Right, Jacob? Yeah, exactly. So, thank you for watching today's tutorial. Um, if you have any questions about what, or run into any issues with your Tailwind project in Storefront UI, head over to the View Storefront Discord and you'll find our Storefront UI channel there. Um, feel free to reach out, ask the community any questions. There's some great people who also know a lot about how to use Tailwind with Storefront UI, so I'm sure you'll get your answers there. Um, and we'll have some other great documentation about uh, Tailwind and View Storefront, or more specifically Storefront UI in the description. So that's also gonna be a great way to just see this video, but in a more documented format, and just you can follow it at your own pace. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you guys in next week's tutorial.